hi guys in this video i am going to show you that how you can create an invoice first of all you need to log into your stripe account so i am already logged in that's why on the top right corner i am getting this dashboard link uh, if you will not be logged in then you will be getting the option of sign in so you should sign in first and i am going to click on it and i will be redirected to the dashboard of my stripe account so once you are redirected to your stripe account then you will be getting a lot of information so you have to wait for a while until this is loading successfully and uh, then after uh, you can uh, continue with the test mode first and then you should uh, move ahead with the live mode so i will be showing you first of all the test mode payment that how you can do the testing for your payment and then after you should uh, continue with the live mode because test payment is just helping you to know that everything is uh, uh, going fine and then after you can easily move ahead with the uh, live mode so first of all uh, by default this is enabled as live mode so you on the top left uh, menu you will on the left menu you will be getting a view test mode uh, link you should click on it and this will be enabling uh, the test mode for you and now the test data is enabled so let me click here and search invoice so you should search here the invoice and uh, below you will be getting a lot of options so uh, first on the first link you should click customer uh, invoices and those invoices which i have already uh, generated so those are listed here but in this video i am going to create a new one so click on create invoice on the top left top right corner click on the button and here you need to add the uh, customer name so for example i am writing here customer or maybe i can write here my name my name all right so this is the customer name you should click on this button and you will get the pop-up here and here we have my name and then i'm writing here an email id you should also do like that and you have to add the description here the product description or maybe whatever uh, you are thinking is suitable for you for defining your product and then we have billing details so you should add here the billing details for example i am adding here india the billing uh, the country and then after i am writing here the address you have to add here the city and then you have to add the postal code and then you should add the state and finally you need to add the phone number and down below you have to choose the currency so i am writing here inr so Indian rupees all right so let me do the testing first using this and then I will be showing you that uh, what's the issue of your error actually the error issue is like uh, uh, the first thing you should uh, fill all the billing details that that is important and uh, other than that uh, you have to mention the currency so make sure that if you are uh, doing the export import business so at that moment if the customer would be uh, from out of your country then you have to uh, mention the uh, billing details here and also mention the uh, currency uh, us dollar or maybe the other countries where uh, that specific customer is located all right and finally you have to click on add customers so uh, don't forget to add the billing details because this is important all right so this is actually generating the error so then click on add customer here you can add the product name so for example i am adding here my product then after you should add the quantity and then price so here i am going to write uh, 100 rupees then you scroll it down and here you should mention the payment due date so this is 10 days so within 10 days this uh, uh, 
uh, invoice would not be expired and after that it would be expired then we have manage so here the payment methods would be shown whichever is uh, enabled into our stripe account so currently we have credit or debit card then we have to scroll it up and click on send text uh, text invoice so on uh, here you should add the payment uh, add the email address and here you can add multiple email address if you have multiple customers in the cc carbon copy and here you have the option to download this uh, invoice so if you will be clicking over that link then the invoice would be downloaded and if you will open this uh, invoice you will see all the relevant details of your customer of your payments and everything would be showing over here and uh, then after if you will scroll it down and finally you have to click on send test invoice so this invoice would be sent to your customers and uh, you will also see the invoice details uh, on the screen you should scroll it down and here you will find out that uh, uh, we have uh, we have an invoice link so if you will right click and click on copy link address and uh, let me open this up in the new browser window so just paste it out here and then press enter key so you will see the user interface that your customers would be seeing on their screen so here here we have that invoice uh, details so uh, here the customers would uh, add the card details and then after uh, do the payment all right so for example i have here uh, card details and test card number and expiry date when you will be clicking over the pay and then it will uh, just load for some time and then you can see that this is successful payment of 100 rupees so this was the test payment which is succeeded and we have two options here download invoice and download receipt so if you will click on the download invoice then uh, the invoice would be downloaded and if you will click on download receipt then the receipt would be downloaded and if you will open up this receipt you will get all the details of your uh, payment that the customer name and all and uh, the payment uh, uh, I mean amount and all so if you will open the uh, invoice then you will also get the invoice detail uh, you will get invoice details and finally let me minimize this and here you can see that the status is incomplete currently because we had the uh, test mode and let me refresh this page once you will be refreshing this page then this uh, test mode uh, this incomplete status would be changed to successful so wait for a while and then you can scroll it down and here down below you will see here the payment status that is successful now so you can see that we have succeeded payment succeeded and uh, uh, this was incomplete earlier and now it is succeeded and if you will scroll it up and we have also the status of uh, paid so here you can see that we have paid so that means the info invoice is not pending it is paid so if you will uh, disable this uh, test mode and the uh, live mode would be enabled so now we can create the invoices for the live mode so that would be the genuine payment so you should search here the invoice and click on the customer invoices and you will be getting the list of all those invoices which you have created earlier for your customers you have generated earlier currently i am going to uh, create a new one by clicking on create invoice button and here you can mention the name of the customer so for example i am writing here my my name and then click on this plus button and you will have to fill all the details here so for example i am writing here my details test details and then you have to add the description 
then you have to add here the billing details so for example I am writing here the address so make sure that fill all the ad uh, address input boxes so you should add the uh, relevant details of your billing address then after add the state and finally you have to mention the phone number and then you can uh, choose the currency here so for example INR so if you are uh, sending uh, the invoice to any foreigner then you can mention here the currency of their country language you can also mention for example English by default would be English so you can choose accordingly so you can also choose the time zone and finally we have filled everything and now you can click on add customer and here you can see that the customer is generated now you should add here the product detail so for example my item and then you have to mention here for example 110 rupees then you have scroll it down you have to add here for example 10 days due date then you can manage the payment methods so all the payment methods would be showing over here then finally you can cre uh, click on send invoice here you will be getting the input box where you can mention multiple emails and you can download the invoice from here as well and if you are not interested to download then you can just click on send invoice so this invoice has been sent successfully now the customer needs to pay uh, the amount and then this invoice status from incomplete to uh, uh, will be changing from incomplete to paid and you can copy this specific link from here and for example I am pasting here and press enter key and your customer would be seeing this uh, this type of interface once that uh, invoice would be opened over there so he or she will be entering the uh, payment details here I mean card details and then click on the pay button and finally the payment would be done and then after you will be seeing the status of your payment over here so this is the way to uh, do the uh, payment through invoices so if you are facing any issue then uh, you should contact me I will be helping you out with that so uh, thank you so much for watching this video if this video was useful for you and added some value or maybe solved your problem just like the uh, video and also share this video uh, to others and uh, make sure that subscribe this channel because in the coming videos i will be uploading a lot of good content for you so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.